for those of you who think that Port Mauricio doesn't ever get to buy anything, well, today you're in for an episode of crap that Mauricio has bought. I'm kidding. Not really. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. This is my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina, who's six. We are on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt as quickly as possible. And we want to take you along every step of the way because this is real life and real life happens on this channel. Good, bad, and ugly. Really ugly. And today he has kind of less attractive, shall we say. So if you are interested in following us along on the rest of our journey, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. I'm always amazed by people that can go totally beans and rice and like crank out this plan and just kick debt to the curb in like months, under a year. Cause apparently we are not that family. Some months we kill it and some months we bomb. This month and last month, actually, we pretty much killed it, except for a couple of little things that have gone on in the Valencia household this month. And I'm going to talk about a few of them. Not all of them, but a few of them. And then there are some months when one of the two of us decides that maybe they want to spend a little bit more money than we have allotted. Most of the time it's me. But this month, because I had a major goal and maybe I didn't relay that to Mauricio as much, he wasn't 100% on board with the, the spending that I had budgeted for him. And as usual, I log all of our spending into every dollar. And sometimes I'm snarky in there. And in this particular month, I was apparently massively snarky. And all of these overages are Mauricio's. That's not to say I didn't spend money. It's just we're not talking about my spending yet. So the first expense is $13.57 at Starbucks because when all of your friends go to Starbucks, you have to go to Starbucks too and spend $13.57. What do you get for $13.57? If you get like a latte, it's like four bucks. Hmm. The second thing that Mauricio got this month was $21.38 for cigars. Mauricio, when he likes to relax, especially in the spring and the summertime, he loves to go out on the back deck and smoke a cigar and maybe have some bourbon or scotch or something and just relax outside. And a couple of days the weather was gorgeous and he was like, I just wanna go out and smoke a cigar and have, have something to drink. And I was like, all right. So we went to the cigar shop and he bought some cigars. Then there was $15.86 for McDonald's, why? Because apparently we ran out of food at home and had to go to McDonald's. No, truthfully, Mauricio is a complete sucker for Molina. And when Molina says, mommy, daddy, can we go out to McDonald's? I say no. And Mauricio's like, sure, honey, whatever you want. And so she's learning. Little puppet master I got growing up is mastering the art of puppeteering her dad. The next one was $14.80 for lunch out. They went and got pho, which is awesome. And it's like a wonderful, wonderful warm soup dish. And it's fantastic. But why didn't he use his blow money? Cause he went out with for lunch with his coworkers. Must have gone out previously and didn't have any money left. But my personal favorite happened actually this morning when Melina informed me as I was walking out the door that she wanted McDonald's for breakfast. And I said, no. So apparently while I was out, she approached her father and I got this text from Mauricio. Can you bring Melly McDonald's? She wants a happy meal, thanks. And I said, for breakfast? And he said, yes, she wants it. My response to him was, so we're no longer parenting? And his response was, not today. Fortunately for me, I won that battle, sort of. I did not buy her McDonald's. Her dad did not buy her McDonald's. There was no McDonald's in the morning. 
She did, however, figure out that if she went to her grandfather and asked for McDonald's, he would go get McDonald's. So she ended up having McDonald's for lunch that day. Won the battle, lost the war. So if you made it this far, I'll actually fess up. Not a single one of these items was a surprise to me. Mauricio told me he was going to spend every single cent of these things, either before or immediately after it happened. And I was okay with that because we have the category which shall not be named. We always put $100 in there. And we still have it and we haven't spent it all. While probably not a good habit to get into, things like this do happen. But I will tell you at this moment in time, halfway through the month, we are $106 short of making a fairly sizable milestone, one that I am particularly excited about. And if these little events cause us not to make that milestone, Mauricio will probably hear about it for a little while. Or We'll just make the milestone next month. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.